During the voyage, the ship's crew realizes that the cargo in the hold wishes them harm. The film's action begins on August 6, 1897, as a Russian merchant ship named Demeter arrives off the coast of England in the middle of the night, carrying a cargo of 50 wooden crates. After an initial inspection, a young police officer reports to the authorities that there is no one on board and he discovers only the captain's diary, which remains the last clue to the mysterious disappearance of the crew. Four weeks earlier, the Demeter made a port in Varna, Bulgaria, picking up cargo for transportation to London. Captain Elliot gives orders to his senior assistant, Wojciech, to gather the necessary crew members. Among the candidates for sailors is Dr. Clemens, who wishes to return home to England. However, Wojciech prefers stronger workers with more useful skills. In the meantime, the locals from Romania, after handing over the crates, are eager to leave the town before sunset, not even enticed by the gold offered for loading. The sailors start loading the crates, but one of the newcomers notices a crest resembling a dragon. Startled, he drops the rope, nearly causing a crate to fall on Toby, the captain's young grandson. Clemens, who happens to be nearby, saves the boy. The new sailor promptly leaves the ship, stating that he didn't sign up for this. In exchange, Wojciech agrees to accept Clemens since he's already there. Loaded up, the Demeter sets sail and heads into the open sea in the light of the setting sun. The departing peasants, seeing the ship in the distance, cross themselves superstitiously. On board, Toby shows Clemens how everything functions on the ship. He explains that the crew communicates by tapping on the wooden hull of the ship. Inside the hold are animals, which the boy looks after until they are consumed during the journey. The doctor also meets the ship's dog, named Huckleberry. In the evening, while the crew celebrates their departure, the captain informs Wojciech that after this voyage, he will retire, and control of the Demeter will be passed to Wojciech. During dinner, the sailors talk about their plans upon arriving in London. Suddenly, they hear the dog barking. Toby and Clemens go to check, and they see that one of the crates fall and broke open in the cargo hold. Clemens investigates and finds a woman buried in dirt inside. She is barely alive, and despite the crew's disapproval, he performs blood transfusions on her to treat a seeming infection. Aware that having a woman on board spells trouble, the first mate suggests throwing her overboard, but the captain doesn't want to tarnish his final voyage with such an episode. Clemens is tasked with protecting the girl from the crew's curious and varying interests. While taking the watch at the helm, the doctor asks Toby to take his place. Later in the Aegean Sea, Clemens and crew mate Olgerin sees a horrifying figure of a mysterious creature on the deck which vanishes in an instant. The sailor goes onto the deck to investigate who might be hiding there and notices blood on the floor. Distracted for a moment, Clemens loses sight of his comrade. Fixing the wheel, he sets out to find him. Together, they descend into the hold, where they discover that all the animals are slaughtered, including the ship's dog. On all of them, they find huge bite marks. The incident is reported to the captain, and the crew understandably concludes that such events never happened before the arrival of Clemens and the suspicious girl on board. The situation intensifies and nearly leads to a mutiny. Deciding what to do with the slaughtered animals, the doctor warns that rabies is transmitted only through bites. However, the crew decides not to take any chances and throws them all overboard. Preparing the sails for an approaching storm, Clemens converses with his comrade, who confesses to having seen something supernatural the previous night. Later, the doctor continues the blood transfusion for the girl. She mutters in her delirium, and they learn her name is Anna. During the night, Clemens encounters Joseph in the hold. The cook has noticed that all the rats on the ship have disappeared, and a rat-free ship is not normal, especially if something frightened them away. At the same time, a sailor on deck notices that the grate in the hold is broken, as if something had torn its way out. He observes a strange creature in the night, which attacks him and slashes his throat with its claws. Bleeding profusely, the sailor watches as the monster approaches him, licking blood from the boards. Later, Clemens finds a hole in the grate, bloodstains, and a dropped knife, which he reports to the captain. In the morning, the crew decides that the sailor got drunk during his watch and fell overboard. But this doesn't explain the bloodstains. Wojciech suspects the doctor as the source of the blood. Clemens explains that the animals were drained of blood, and this happened when Anna woke up. She screams that they need to leave the ship urgently, but the senior assistant refuses to entertain superstitions despite the crew's mood. In the evening, during another blood transfusion, Anna reveals to Clemens that the creature they encountered is a monster from Transylvania, that feeds on the blood of humans. In her town they called it Dracula. This monster in human form had the ability to take on various guises. He lived in a nearby castle in her village, feeding on its inhabitants, who the elders would offer as sacrifices. When Dracula decided to move to England, they sent Anna with him in one of the crates as a walking meal so that the vampire could snack when necessary. When she escaped, he had to hunt others to survive. At night on the deck, the crew is frightened not only by the storm but also by a creature lurking in the darkness. One of the sailors, Olgerin, suggests that Anna should have been thrown overboard, but he can't bring himself to do it, thinking of his own daughter. Some time later, his comrade goes to light lanterns. When he returns, he cannot find Olgerin. 
After a while, older in response to a knock that his comrade did not make. Armed with knives, the sailors search for the source of the knocking, but their search results in an attack by the monster, which smashes one of them to death. In terror, Olgerin climbs the mast using ropes, but the creature follows him. The wheel is torn from its rope, and the ship is caught in a fierce storm. The crew rushes to the deck, where Clemens notices blood dripping onto Toby's shirt. The source of the blood is the wounded Olgerin, who is trapped in the rigging. They rescue the boy and place him in the cabin, where the doctor observes bite wounds on his body. Captain Elliot orders a search of the ship, with at least two crew members together. They search the ship with lanterns and weapons but find nothing. Captain Elliot instructs his grandson to clean the spyglass while locking himself in the cabin. Meanwhile, as the sun sets, the crew is overwhelmed by a sense of fear. Even the tied-up Olgerin, who had been unconscious, begins to move chaotically. Hearing a noise, Toby leaves the captain's cabin. In the semi-darkness of the hold, he encounters Olgerin, who is behaving strangely. Olgerin's eyes have turned white. The sailor tries to take the boy with him, but Toby manages to escape and return to the cabin. Olgerin repeatedly strikes his head against the door, systematically breaking it open and ignoring the pain. He almost manages to undo the latch through the hole in the door. When sailors in the corridor hear the commotion, led by Wojciech, they struggle to subdue him. Toby in the cabin hears a voice asking him to open the door, but a mysterious creature nearby prevents him from doing so. When the rest of the crew desperately tries to pass through the barred door, Dracula slowly approaches Toby and bites him. Only Anna's arrival with a gun makes everyone realize that the latch can be broken with a shot. However, inside the room, they find an unconscious boy who had been bitten by Dracula. Toby's condition worsens by morning. The restrained Olgerin is tied to the mast for questioning, but he is delirious. He claims to hear everything, including the blood running through the veins. Olgerin repeats the word burns until the sunrise. When the first rays of sunlight touch him, he suddenly bursts into flames, which burn intensely but do not spread to the ropes or wooden mast. After Olgerin's gruesome demise, doubts arise among the crew. Joseph the cook believes they are cursed for their sins. Clemens states that the infection that consumed Olgerin might also afflict Toby. Wojciech suggests attempting a blood transfusion, similar to what was done with Anna, and Toby's grandfather, Captain Elliot, agrees to help despite the doctor's uncertainty about whether it will save the child. Clemens wants to open the crates in the hold to find the monster, and Anna offers her assistance, displaying suspiciously advanced weapon handling skills. They search the hold and discover that the cargo is just soil. Only one crate has secret locks for easy opening, but inside, they find nothing but soil, decomposing worms, and a cane with a wolf's head-shaped handle. Meanwhile, Cook Joseph launches one of the lifeboats to get away from the cursed ship. As he rows away, he soon notices a terrifying flying creature landing on the stern of his boat. His dying scream is heard on the Demeter. Subsequently, the empty boat drifts back and crashes into the ship's side. At the same time, Wojciech learns that Toby died from an infection. At dawn, they bury the boy according to maritime customs, wrapping him in canvas, preparing to cast him into the sea. During the ceremony, Captain Elliot has a feeling that his grandson has moved. Overwhelmed by grief, he lifts the canvas, and then the lifeless boy opens his whitened eyes and lunges at his grandfather. The sunlight burns him like Olgerin. The crew manages to drag Elliot away and toss him overboard. While the wounded captain rests in his cabin, Wojciech takes command, with several questions for Clemens. Nevertheless, they have a common enemy that they must defeat together. Those who remain alive devise a plan to lure Dracula. Although Anna warns them that competing with ancient evil and cunning is foolish, understanding that the vampire's goal is to arrive in London, the crew plans to sink the ship before it reaches the shores of England. Wojciech expresses clear disagreement, but he is convinced by the idea that the ship, first and foremost, is the crew, not just boards. He then prepares to personally breach the ship. During the day, the crew prepares a trap for Dracula, nailing grids over the hatch and setting up crow's nests on the mast. Clemens visits the captain, who is showing signs of madness. Elliot opposes leaving the ship, claiming that the creature promises to return his grandson if he delivers the Demeter to the shore. Despite the threat of weapons, Clemens and Anna oppose this idea, explaining that the passenger from the hold is not a savior but an evil killer. Yielding to persuasion, Elliot decides to stay on the sinking ship, as he has nowhere else to go. When night falls, the sailors wait in ambush. The ship is just moments away from reaching England, but suddenly, the sea is engulfed in suspiciously thick fog, obscuring all visibility. Wojciech and a sailor are hiding in the crow's nest while Clemens and Anna steer the ship, luring Dracula. The plan goes awry when the vampire attacks the mast ambush. A sailor falls, falling prey to the vampire's claws. The bosun takes aim at the monster in the fog. However, as he descends, Dracula attacks him. Wojciech falls down through the hatch, breaking his leg. With a cry, he orders the others to prepare the lifeboat. He then sneaks to the edge of the ship with an axe. While Anna and Clemens lower the lifeboat, Wojciech apologizes to the Demeter and starts breaking the hull to sink the schooner. However, he doesn't finish what he started, as he is attacked by the monster. 
Clemens finds the breach and the discarded axe, then returns to the deck for the captain, but Elliot, gripping the wheel, wants to stay with his ship. He faces the vampire head-on, dying in the confrontation. Clemens finds the captain tied to the wheel. After releasing him, he hears Elliot's final request, to report that the captain never left the ship. Then, he challenges the vampire, insulting him, attempting to delay the inevitable. Dracula appears and attacks the doctor, but Anna shoots him from behind with a rifle, distracting him. However, at the last moment, the monster catches the doctor. The vampire claws at his neck, intending to feed on the wound, but Anna cuts the rope, sending a mast crashing down on him. While the monster was pinned by the tree, the crew jumped overboard, hoping to get on the lowered lifeboat. Meanwhile, the lighthouse keepers saw the out-of-control ship, and Anna and Clemens floated away on wreckage from the ship. They didn't know that Dracula had escaped the trap. Before sinking, the ship ended up running aground on the British coast, at which point Dracula was able to push the mast from his body and roared in victory. At dawn, Anna plans to sail away, knowing that the infection in her blood has not disappeared and the transfusion will only postpone the inevitable. She willingly immolates herself in the sunlight before Clemens drifts ashore. In the final scene in London, journalists report on the survivor from the Demeter. Clemens, hiding from notoriety, wanders through the city. He encounters him in one of the taverns, where the man pretends to be an aristocrat. As he leaves, Dracula marks the doctor with a scratch, forcing him to follow the trail. The movie ends here. Be sure to share your thoughts on it in the comments below.